Hello, I'm Jed Sears and today we're gonna learn how to use Televocoder. It's a free plugin from Togu Audio Line and you can uh, grab it uh, on the link that's in the description of this video. We're gonna learn how to use internal and external carriers. So what is a vocoder? Simply put, a uh, vocoder is a plugin that lets you modify the tonality of a sound based on the carrier signal. If your carrier signal is a source synth and your modular signal is a voice recording, the modular signal is going to be modified by the carrier source signal. We're going to do this because it's a good way to produce electro-like vocals. And if you run your vocals through a vocoder, it's gonna sound great and in tune. So in the end, you should know how to use vocoder and it should sound something like this. So you're gonna need a digital audio workstation. Basically, any door with MIDI uh, will do. Almost every, not if every modern door uh, can do MIDI. So if you have one, you're all set. For example, Studio One, uh, Ableton Live, Cubase, FL Studio, Reaper, stuff like that. What synthesizers are you going to need? You're gonna need a synthesizer as VSTI. So any software synth will do. For example, Silent, Synth One, Serum. Yeah. What samples are you going to need? Any voice recording, either that's singing or a uh, spoken word, it doesn't matter. Internal carrier. So we're gonna learn how to use vocoder's internal carrier. So let's load this sample here. Let's hear it first. If you know what's good for you, you'll always listen to the DJ. Yeah, that's me, that's my voice pitched down. Uh, it's a phrase I use in one of my tracks. So we'll load a vocoder, televocoder. I'm using version 1.2.0. Let's pin this here. And as you can see, you have your carrier and your vocoder. This is an equalizer. Uh, that you can use to shape your sound. And this is the carrier, which will modify the tonality of your voice uh, based on what MIDI notes, uh, what chords you input into the carrier. So let's try that. You're gonna need to create a MIDI, MIDI track. This is the MIDI track, and you you need to route this track uh, to your Televocoder. So the output of your MIDI track should be Televocoder 2. And right now, the Televocoder is receiving MIDI data from this track. So if we press play, we won't hear anything. See, nothing. And if we press play and play some MIDI notes, we will start to hear the vocoder's effect. We can f further uh, modify the carrier. We can add some sub, some noise, uh, turn down the saw a bit, turn, turn up the pulse, turn down the mids. Add some highs, turn on the bass, sounds good. We can turn on the chorus and let's hear it now. now let's turn down the volume a bit so it doesn't clip. You know 
Sounds pretty good. Yeah, and that's how you use the Tau Coder internal carrier alongside with the equalizer and yeah that's how it works right now let's try to write some midi notes in the piano roll And let's hear it. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, if you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. If you know what's good for you, then always listen to the DJ. And that's it for the internal carrier. So how about that external carrier? That's where the soft synth comes in. Um, and that's what we're gonna use. So we have this clip here. Let's hear it. Drive away too long, try to catch the sun. We found out the world where all was upside down You can never guess if it's morning or midnight And in all this mess we completely lost our mind And we're gonna use this synth This one to modify that recording Let's loop it so in order for this to work, you need to create extra channel, extra bus channel. And you're going to route the synthesizer and the, your voice recording to that channel. You're going to insert vocoder on that channel. And you select input mode on. As you can see, carrier is on the left side and the modulator is on the right side. Let's pin this. So your voice will be on the right side and your synth will be on your left side of your panorama. Both are routed to bus 1, that's where the vocoder is. And now if you play, if you press play, you won't hear anything. That's why, because the synth is not playing any, any sound to modify the, your voice width. So the vocoder isn't receiving anything and won't output anything. So let's press play and uh, play some MIDI notes to see the effect. Or hear the effect, doesn't matter. <laughs> We found out the world where all was upside down. You can never guess if it's morning or midnight. And you know this mess, we don't let me lose the mind. Sounds pretty basic. But it works. Let's try to copy these uh, MIDI notes to here. And let's hear how it sounds. Let's copy it a couple more times and let's open the piano roll. And you can see uh, that it will actually follow the chords. Drive away too long, 
how drunk it's this We found out the world where all was upside down You can live for years if it's more in the night And all this mess, we don't look like most of them and that way you use vocoder with external carrier. Creative use. You can get more creative than that. You can use synth uh, as with LP filter uh, to use a talking baseline. So let's try just that. I'm gonna destroy this. We're going to use this patch. Let's hear it first without the vocoder. Sounds pretty decent. Let's route it back. And right now, let's actually make a talking baseline out of that.
Sounds pretty good to me. One little extra tip I can give you here is to use portamento. It actually gives us um, a good uh, effect to your um, whatever you are doing. Yeah, sounds something like uh, something from Germany, I think, I guess, I would guess. <laughs> Yeah, but that's uh, one way, one of many ways you can use vocoder creatively. I can imagine this bass being used in uh, electro or dubstep or something. It's a different type of wobbler, I would guess. But anyway, yeah, this is it. So what we learned today, we now know how to use uh, and set up vocoder in a track. How to set up channels, route them to a vocoder. We learned how to use internal and external carriers. We tried some creative stuff and so on. So I think that's about it. Uh, be sure to check my other how-to videos. Subscribe to my channel rece to receive uh, updates on a new video content and stuff like that. Also be sure to check my SoundCloud for my music, my MixCloud for my mixes, my Twitter where I share my random thoughts about music and other random stuff. Links are in the description. And if you would like to see more about vocoders, some practical use or something, or if you have some questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as I can. Or maybe I'll answer your question in a form of video, who knows. So thank you for watching. I'll be more than happy if this video helped you in any way and I'll catch you later.